Welcome to the Coin Pulse. Let's dive into today's video. Before we do that, as a daily reminder, none of these contents in these channels are financial advice. If you invest in any projects, do your own research and invest on your own terms. And if you need a financial advice, get a financial advisor's help. And let's dive into today's video. Today we are going to talk about how to set up the Babylon knot. Uh, this method I'm going to show you this will be very easy and very few clicks. You don't have to run a lot of commands. And the thing about running nodes for test chains, um, you know, in the past, a lot of uh, people who run nodes for the test chains, like uh, Celestia testnet or other test nets who run nodes for that got huge airdrop as example you know the celestia uh, testnet node runners got ten thousand dollars worth of airdrop because they run the node for a few months so there's a high pro probability that a lot of chains will reward that same way whoever helping that to decentralize their chain running a test node but running the node is uh, pretty technical process in some chains and also Babylon chain also if you you can do different routes to run the node but in the route I'm going to show you is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to install so if you go into the Babylon chain page you know the Babylon chain is a Bitcoin staking protocol that means you can uh, stake your idle bitcoins uh, in the babylon chain without any third party involvement and get the yield for it it's a DeFi protocol uh, chain and there's a huge demand for this babylon chain and there's a huge uh, social media activity going on for this babylon chain because it's a one-of-a-kind chain and if you run the node this is really a uh, speculative play that if you run a node then there's high probability you will get a reward for it so i'm going to show you um, so if you need more information on the babylon chain you can go to the uh, their web twitter or the x page babylon chain and then uh, you can go to their website and you know take a look at their white paper so there's a lot of information how how it is working and how the staking will work with the bitcoin but up until now there will be no chain that is giving a staking for the bitcoins that idly in your wallets and babylon is first of the chain that is giving that opportunity and uh, because of that babylon is pretty in demand to do this staking protocol and do the test run and get the users involved uh, this will help a lot of Bitcoin to stake and you know, get the rewards for it. So running the Babylon chain, first of all, you need a VPS server or virtual private server. There's a lot of virtual private servers available. Um, I am using uh, Contabo uh, VPS, but there's a Vulture, there's a Nodobi, there's a huge lot of lot of providers who is giving uh, different VPS servers to rent monthly but I use the Contabo because it's the cheapest available in the market you can see that it has uh, this $12.50 per month uh, you will get $6 CPU 16 GB RAM 200 uh, SSD all those configuration is pretty cheap for $12.50 per month but if you go for the same configuration in any other VPS provider, it will cost you nearly $40, $45 or $50. So that's why I use the Contabo. So the referral link for the Contabo I will include in my video description. So if you use the referral link, it will give me some kickback, like few dollars for each referral. So if you like to use that link, you can do that. Otherwise, you can... I get your own VPS server from different provider. It's up to you to decide uh, which provider you're going to use. But ultimately, we need um, 
we don't need this much configuration but at least you need four cpus and at least 16 gb ram and 200 gb ssd so once you uh, provide get get these uh, vps you select this and then it will um, you know ask you to select the terms so you can select one month three months six months or you can select one month and renew that after every month so i i went with that month uh, that scenario because you know that um, you cannot select six or twelve the reason behind is is we don't know when the babylon test net going to be end so if you select 12 months and then if the babylon test net end in three months all your um, other nine months going to be waste if you're not set up another node with it so because of that i choose going by one month and then i can renew it every month and you can always choose this uh, free version if you need a separate uh, united states or any other location to be in your vps uh, you have to pay like extra two three five dollars according to the location but i use the one that is now and no dollars attached to it so i like free ones and the storage type you can say 400 gb i think 400 gb is more than enough uh, 600 gb um, you have to pay like 280 extra so this is good and um, this is you can keep the same uh, you don't have to change and then here the important part is uh, so important part to remember is uh, your username will be root and then you have to give a password that we you will remember so this password needed for you to access the server so give a password here and then um, yeah that's about it and then click next and then you will be set up with your server so once you do that it will uh, show you a screen like this you will see um, in your control panel uh, your services when you go to the your services it will show you this and the important thing is to get the ip address uh, so this will be your ip address and then the default user will be wrote so that's it from the Contabo. So once you set up this, it will take maybe five, 10 minutes to set up the server. Then it will send the email to you that server is set up. So once you have that, you get the IP address. The next part is um, to install the clean. So the clean is a, um, a software that will be installed into your desktop. And um, it's available for Windows and it's also available for Mac. Um, so what it do is it will help you to do one click installation of your nodes so not only for the uh, babylon you have different other uh, nodes available i'm going to do an another tutorial what other nodes we can install with the clean but ultimately you have to go to the clean.run i'm going to include this in the description and you click download on here and then it will be downloaded to your uh, desktop so once you download that, um, it will be something like this interface. So now what you need to do is you need to enter your IP address and the password that you uh, created for the root uh, on the Pentabo server. So the IP address should be what you see in uh, this, this area and then the password is what you have set up for this root so the, you set up a password for this root user so that password you needed to log into this server so if i log into mine so once you're in the uh, clean home page you will see there's a different um, nodes available for you to install so you have to select uh, not the main net you have to select testnet from the test net you have to select babylon and uh, since i already installed that it's appear me uh, the button manage but if you're not installed it will appear like install so what you need to do is you go to the babylon server on the test net and click install so it will take uh, five to ten minutes to install the server and that's it then you uh, your babylon uh, server is installed in your vps server that you have by bought it from the contabo 
so once you install that you can go to the manage so now there's a different things you can do so in the node operations you will see um, all your uh, sync status of the server and the cpu and the memory usage of that and once you go to the node operation you will see that um, there's information that is showing how to set up the server more uh, with the your wallet address so in order to do that you have to first uh, connect to babylon discord server so they the babylon has so if, if you want to get that you can uh, go to their uh, twitter page and you can see that discord.gg and babylon global so you have to connect to that server um, you have to go to get a role and click on this icon which says uh, which is a computer icon so that means it's a node runner uh, role so once you get that uh, role the next part is to verify so you will do the normal verification for the babylon so the all the channels will be available for you to uh, use so once you do that the next part is to uh, get the babylon testnet tokens to your wallet so the in order to create a wallet you need to go to the clean again um, in your desktop and then in the validator operation section you will see wallets so in this you will give a wallet a name any name which is meaningful for you and then click create so once you create this and then it will be available here so then you have your uh, wallet information and then you click on this uh, copy and then go back to the discord server and then in the discord you will go to the faucet and you will type um, like this f-a-u-c-e-t and then space control v and then you uh, enter your wallet address then it will send you a babylon token to your wallet it will take few minutes to appear in your wallet once it's uh, confirmed um, sometimes it will show you a fail uh, you have to keep trying to get that token maybe two three times when you try it will send you that so it will say confirm and you can see some uh, says fail to transfer money to this wallet that user has entered so if 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 that happened to you you have to uh, do the faucet command again and enter your wallet address and then enter again and after some time then you will be able to say successfully sent message to your wallet address then once you, once you see that that means the uh, funds on the way to your wallet so once it's there, then you will see that uh, once you put your cursor around your wallet, you will see that um, the Babylon token amount that is available in your wallet. So that's how you connect your wallet. So once you connect your wallet with the node, that means they will know that you are running the node. So the other part is when you go to the node operation, you can do the um, staking for the um, Babylon testnet so what you have to do is you have to go to this uh, address uh, babylon testnet so once you click on that once you click on that you will be here then you have to select the babylon testnet from the dashboard and in there you will select the validators uh, if i go back um, so the, go to the staking and then click inactive and from the inactives type node 101 Click enter. So this is the the, the clean uh, staking uh, validator. So you can uh, click on this node. So once you click on that node, you will see all the information related to this validator. So here you will see this validator address. You copy that validator address and then go back to the clean and then you go to the delegate. So you will put your wallet address you created here uh, not the address actually the wallet name you created in this wallet section 
and then the developer address is the one that you just copied and then fees you can put um, a 10 or 100 the amount you can put uh, 100,000 1 million and then click submit so once you submit that that means you're delegating a token to this validator so that's also helpful uh, do the validation and then this will help to do uh, testnet token to be validate that means it's a transaction in the uh, testnet chain with your wallet address so these help these will help you to um, verify you are not in the uh, chain and then in case they do a, a drop to the uh, testers or the node runners uh, then it will help you to get the airdrop using that uh, wallet address. So that's it about for the Babylon um, node setup. Um, so I'm going to do another node setup for the uh, Taiko uh, chain, Sheridium and Sora. So I'm using that using the Mintair, which is the one click um, node setup. You don't have to use putty or any other command line uh, tools to run the commands. Uh, so this service is available. So they time to time um, making these uh, testnet nodes available. The slots is available time to time. So they have to keep watch on their uh, Twitter. So if you go to the uh, Mintair. So the one click node so the that discord you can connect to their discord and this is a one click node that means like you just uh, pay the amount and then they will do the installation for you and um, once you connect your wallet that means you are running the node for these test test nets so i will be doing the uh, tutorial on how to do that also for these three and there's a lot of nodes available uh, if you go to the dashboard you can see that these are available but at the moment sharedm and taiko and the deevm is only available is zero zero slot that means you cannot run any nodes but the sora is still available like 27 slots so you can get sora node installed um, with this and there are some other nodes also coming in the future so i'm going to do a um, quick uh, tutorial on how to do that in most probably this week so keep an eye on that so in order to get this kind of video uh, i highly recommend to subscribe to my channel and i'm still is very low subscribers so i am highly appreciate if you guys can subscribe and make a like on the video so then i will reach to more audience thank you very much for joining today and until the next video have a good one guys